Transparency International and its Nigerian chapter, the Civil Society Legislative Advocacy Center, CISLAC, have offered some reasons for Nigeria's marginal improvement in the number of points scored and position in the 2023 Corruption Perception Index released by Transparency International on Tuesday. Nigeria now ranks 145 out of 180 countries assessed after scoring 25 out of 100 points, compared to 24 points in the 2022 to CPI results. However, the new score is far below the Sub-Saharan Africa's average of 33 points. Our correspondent, Emeka Mako, files in this report from Abuja. The Corruption Perception Index, CPI, which generally defines corruption as an abuse of entrusted power for private gain, aims to rank countries by their perceived levels of public sector corruption as determined by expert assessment and opinion surveys. The 2023 Corruption Perception Index is the first of its kind under the presidency of Bola Ahmed Tinumbu. The index shows that Nigeria ranks 145 out of 180 countries compared to 150 on the 2022 CPI results, representing a rise of five places above its previous rankings in the 2022 CPI. The Corruption Perception Index is highly consequential as government, business entity, civil society organization and other direct their decision based on this assessment. It is important to highlight that this is the first corruption perception index under this administration. Therefore, it will be used as a benchmark for subsequent years. Over the years, Nigeria's anti-corruption agencies have been frontal in their approaches to stem corrupt tendencies following arrest of high-profile individuals and recovery of proceeds. However, reported political interferences highlight, amongst others, the key weaknesses Nigeria needs to improve upon. They risk their life because if they do all this and then the corrupt people even sometimes get jailed by executive order to pardon them, it means that you are putting the operators, the EFCC, ICPC, and the rest of the anti-corruption agencies personnel at risk. The Minister of Humanitarian Affairs and Poverty Alleviation has been subject of numerous scandals since it was established a few years ago by the last government. There are other ministers, past and present, who have allegations of corruption against them, and we call on the relevant agencies, and particularly the political will, to ensure a comprehensive investigation is carried out. Nigeria may have made a remarkable stride in the 2023 CPI, but it doesn't deflect from the fact that the country still has a lot of work to do at the national and regional levels, as the country's score was below the sub-Saharan African average of 33 points. Um, a lot of government agencies don't put out information without people crying for this information. And when you also <coughs> leverage on the Freedom of Information Act and rights to these agencies, you get a lot of responses sometimes about why you requesting for such information when on a normal day this information should actually be put out there without you coercing the agencies to put out the information. While the launch of this register does not solve the challenge of procurement fraud in public contracting through the use of corporate vehicles and companies by politicians, the speakers believe it was a step in the right direction.